What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner for another episode of our Hardcore Mode Let's Play. Now we just got to the lumber area, or the logs kiosk rather, um, in the K700, and I'm going to actually go ahead and grab this C4320 right here because it already has a, um, a lumber carriage like literally ready to go that we can just drive over there with, load up, and move out. So that should be... Honestly, that should be the easiest way to start moving towards completing this map quickly. The only thing is, I think, well, with the K700, it should be pretty easy to load this truck up. I mean, it should be super easy, really. Let's see if we can get it. We'll just get it in place. And I want to say this will take three logs to get it right. We'll swap to the K700, and I think, like I said, I think... This will take three logs um, to get, you know, to get the truck loaded up. So, let's see. No, short logs. Okay. So, that spawns two at a time. That's even better. Come on. There you go. Gonna have to find a good height for those. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's already exactly where I needed it to be. So, now I just gotta... Let's see, operate the loader and grab and raise. So now, now, should just have to drive around to the truck and load these in. And it should be fairly easy to do. Get these loaded up real quick. Oh, that's not a, the <laughs> thing is, if you do this at the wrong angle... Uh, you'll completely, like, you'll screw yourself up and you'll ruin your day. Let's turn the truck this way. Kind of scoot it over slowly. And then straighten it back up the other way. In some ways, the longer trailers are easier to load up because they don't... Why the heck is the camera not allowing me to look back the way I want to look back? Um, sometimes the... Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Operate loader. Up, please. I was like, man, up, please. All right, back it up just a bit more. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because th they're really high on the sides, like really high. If the grabber's open... Oh, we can... Okay, wow. So I completely spaced out on how to rotate it. That's perfect. That's perfect. So we should just need to do a couple more. Let me switch trucks real quick and see how much more it needs. Let's see. I think we need to drive it into the... Oh, wait. Need to position two more. Okay, so we need to go back. And those are in fine positions. So we need to switch back to the K700. Spawn more um, of the short logs. And then load them up. And we should just need two more and we should be good to go. So, let's go ahead and get back into normal mode. The biggest, like, the biggest thing that's always kind of like, I wouldn't say it's, I mean, it's partially a pain, but, like, the biggest thing with doing this is getting this thing lined up for it. Because if you don't get it lined up, it won't work, and you have to really, like, make all these out of the, you kind of have to make these massive out-of-the-way maneuvers if you don't get it perfectly set the very first time out and like like when you right when you back up to it so all right that's good and let's see there we go All right, that'll work. That'll work. At least I think it should. Yep, 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 yep. And, oops. Perfect. That was actually very, very easy. Lift it up. And I'm going to rotate it forward so that when we're actually ready to, you know, to put these in the truck, it's a lot easier to do it. I can't imagine doing this entire process in first person, though. Like, that would be 
so difficult. It would almost be... See, it would be kind of... Kind of impractical because you can't even see... Yeah, you can't even see where you're loading the logs. You have no mirrors to use. So that would be, like, ridiculously impractical. Turn it this way. Use the articulation. Turn it back the other way. There we go. Almost there. Oh, God. All right. We're, no, we're there. I was like, almost there. And then I was like, oh, no, never mind. We're there. <laughs> Those should be in the truck. All right. So now let's move this just a little bit. So it's away from the truck. And now we'll switch the main truck. No, we'll switch the main truck and see if it'll let us load it up. Yep, ready to pack. All right, done. So that is a three-point load of lumber that we're ready to go ahead and start hauling. And this is, like I said, the first time we've hauled anything in hardcore mode. And that went a whole lot smoother than I ever expected it to go. I mean, and normally, the log loading process is very finicky. But this one went absolutely without incident. Like, totally smooth, totally perfect, no issues here whatsoever um, in terms of getting the lumber loaded into the truck. And I'm very, very tickled about that because normally it doesn't go that smoothly, especially in hardcore mode. Uh, oh, come on. And I'm also uh, actually very surprised that they left a truck like this just sitting up there. You know what I mean? Uh, so where is... The lumber mill is down over there. So we're going to have to go across the... Like across the top right here. And I'm thinking about... Oh, there's a logs kiosk over there too. I don't know why I didn't go to that one. Well, but this one will probably be beneficial time-wise anyway because there was a log truck right there, like, ready to go, uh, waiting for us. So, go right and then cut down this way. Uh, I don't know if I like that plan. I think I'm more of a... Yeah... I think I'm more in... Well, I was going to say I'm more interested in staying on the road, but the road goes weird directions anyway. So, I'll tell you what. Here, we'll figure it out on the fly, but I'm thinking we're going to make a right, um, go down the middle of the map, and then make a left, and that should be kind of more in line with what we... Oh, God. Will you please stay along the right direction? God. But, yeah, I'm thinking that our best bet is going to be to do... Um, that's not the turnoff, right? No, that's a di that's a completely different route. That's not a route I'm interested in taking right now. Um, and so I think so. This is three points, and we need what eight? Deliver eight load points. So this is three. So if this is three, another one. So we could do three. Uh, we could do three short log loads, or we could do um, we could do two short log loads and then one long lo uh, lumber load. But the thing is, like, well, well, no, we could do we could do actually, actually, we could do one of these and then one. I don't know why I said two of the other. No, we could do one of these and then one long log trailer. The long log trailer would be a little bit more, a um, little bit more involved, but I, I really don't think it would be that hard, especially to load. Like the, the the process I was actually the most concerned about was the loading, and the loading went by easily. Like the loading went by super easily when we used the K700. So, in terms of loading, I think we'll be good if we if we just do a long log trailer, load it up with you know the long logs, and uh, and take the proper route. It shouldn't pose any kind of problem. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Oh my God, I didn't see that branch. Hopefully that doesn't damage the truck too much, or at least, you know, well, I mean, it damaged it some. It's definitely more than half now, but I, what I mean is I hope it doesn't hurt the performance too much because this is hardcore mode, and I don't really know how much the performance will be hurt by things like that. So where is a... I'm trying to figure out a good route to take for once we come back here with a long log trailer because that's going to be I mean a long log trailer on hardcore mode to me is one of those things where it's like dude if you get that done you could pretty much you know get anything done hardcore mode wise 
This truck is absolutely hauling, though. I mean, it's really doing a great job skating over this mud. It's going very fast, especially for hardcore. I'm impressed with it. It's about, like, for a load of lumber going uphill in soft mud, this thing is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. All right, we have, we have like, plentiful winch points, so this shouldn't be... Oh, I was worried that was going to be ridiculously deep. It's not. Should we make a left up here? I'm going to check the map in a minute. But I'm thinking a left here... Well... Yes, that is the left... That is the left to take. Well, no, it might not be. Because out there, it's all, like, really soft, squishy mud... I'm going to go down here, take this left, go through this swamp area, connect to this, connect to the main road, and then follow the main road to the lumber mill. That seems like it, it would be a lot more reliable of a route. Now, I've never taken it before, but I have taken the other way, the other way and I know for a fact that the other route is, is, like, fraught with danger in terms of, you know, extremely slick mud that your trucks will sink in. I mean, the UAZs sink out there all the time. The big trucks sink out there. When I did my casual mode uh, playthrough of this map, the uh, the big trucks were sinking out there. It took forever to get them across that, um, like, across that field. So I'm going to see where this goes and hopefully uh, end up with a much better result because of it. Where is... That's not the way we, we should go, right? All right, no. Um... Okay, so it's after this little body of water on the left. And keep in mind that I'm still trying to figure out if this route will be usable and practical for a long log trailer. So that's also a consideration. But if we stay near the edge, we have a lot of trees to winch to. Um, shouldn't be anything too bad. I'm just doing that for safety. I saw the truck starting to pitch, and I was like, "I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna screw with that. I'm just gonna let the truck do it. I'm, I'm just gonna go, and um, and hook up a winch and let the truck do its thing with a winch. It's like, uh, it's like, man, that. Oh, come on. Oh my God, our fuel. I just realized our fuel is stupid low, and we're consuming a lot more fuel than I had planned on because the truck is damaged. That's another part of hardcore mode that I didn't plan on. Now, we do have other trucks that can be rescued and used as fuel trucks. Uh, or, well, sorry, that I wouldn't say can be rescued, but can we not? Yeah, no, we can't rescue our trucks, quote-unquote. But if we want to use one as a rescue vehicle, then that's perfectly fine. I just want to see also where I am in relation to... So there's a D535 down here... The garage may be close enough to get to, but I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I mean, we have 44 liters now. I have, I wasn't watching my fuel at all. I really wasn't, and I can see now why that may have been a problem. Or why that may have caused a problem. But we're in second gear. Hopefully, we can get up into third. And start to pick up our speed a little bit. God, 20 a minute. Jeez. It's it's not gonna it's not gonna make it like like this unless I get crafty and do the winch thing. But to be honest, the winch thing, uh, see, it only works so so well. It doesn't it doesn't work you know amazingly well or anything like that. But hopefully we can pick some speed up again and actually actually get it close. And if we run it out of fuel, there are other trucks that we can you know pop over to a fuel station in. And come back and fuel this truck up with. But I'm really trying to get as far as I can on this fuel level. Um, yes, this is the way we need to go. See, this is that squishy crap that I was worried about. Really, really squishy stuff. 27 liters. Oh, 27 liters. Jeez. It's another reason why you don't want to damage your freaking trucks. It's another reason why hardcore mode is, has things you don't think about. And I think, too, you know, like, in terms of hardcore mode, if you've never played it before, you're like... I, I, dude, I was... I'll admit, I was kind of scared to play hardcore mode for a while because I was afraid it was going to be, um, like, just 
way too ridiculous or um, that it was going to be like tedious. But to be honest, I wouldn't say I wouldn't call hardcore mode tedious. I would just call it very in-depth and very, very, very challenging. We get hooked up to the next. Oh, God. Yeah, hooked up to the next tree. Give it a pull. Like I said, we are using zero liters of fuel right now. So that is the trade-off or the payoff, I should say. That's the payoff of doing this winch trick. The problem is your speed is non-existent, number one. And two, you can't do it everywhere. So there are times when you will have to just, you know, go ahead and go. Um, but, I mean, if you're, you know, if, if you're low enough on fuel, like, you, this, it's one of those things you may have to do it sometimes. Across the... <gasps> oh my god, that was way too close for comfort. Oh my god. Because the steering is damaged, and in hardcore mode, if your steering is damaged... The truck will, like, the whole truck will pitch that direction, um, and it will just steer itself that way. And that, let me tell you, is one of the scariest things when you're hauling a load of lumber. Because when you're hauling a load of lumber, and your truck just decides to be like, Oh yeah, I'm going this way. And that also just so happens to entail going off of a bridge. You're like, yeah, I don't want any of that. I really don't. I I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not mess with it. Oh, come on. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. 19 liters remaining. There's the main road. So I might... Oh, God. We're not going to be able to do that. Yeah, we're just going to have to go for it. I'm just using my fuel where I can. And then at least if I can get it back to the main road and then have it run out, I, I at least know that it ran out of fuel in a good spot to run out of fuel. And you know what? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it like that, I'm just going to go ahead and drive it out to the road, let it run out there, and then get another truck out to it ASAP. Oh! Oh my god, I was on the brakes, so that didn't hurt it at all. Holy crap. I'm so glad we have that massive bumper out front. That massive bumper that, like, sticks past the, the grill and everything. Oh, if we didn't have that, we would be so screwed right now. Is that the main road? Yeah, it is. Crap, I forgot the main road on this map was completely covered in mud. And that it wasn't, you know, some kind of, like, paved road. Nine, eight, oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna run this thing out of fuel. God, no! Like, I remember running a truck out of fuel on casual mode, and now I think back to it, I'm like, man... How could I have ever, how could I have ever run out on casual? This is hardcore, and it's like, uh, one liter, zero liters, it's falling, and it is out. So, we're gonna get a fuel solution in the next episode. We're gonna find a fuel truck, we're gonna come back, fill this thing up, and then we're gonna grab our long log trailer and get that over there uh, with another truck, and I, I, at least I think so. And um, that should be our plan for the next episode, our next few episodes, or however long it takes to finish this map. But if you guys are enjoying my hardcore mode let's play on Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.